as the temperature rises and people begin to spend more time outside. The city of Cleveland wants all dog owners to be aware of the ordinances put in place. At the May Board of Aldermen's meeting, City Attorney Jamie Jacks brought attention to the dog ordinance revisions and additions. The Board of Directors passed uh, three ordinances um, regarding our animals. We, we uh, passed a dangerous uh, dog ordinance, an animal cruelty ordinance, and a pooper scooper ordinance. Uh, we feel like this will make uh, Cleveland a safer community, uh, certainly a better place to live and a nicer environment. According to Jamie Gregory Grant, shelter director, the dangerous dog ordinance was changed from the pit bull ordinance because not every pit bull is dangerous and not every dangerous dog is a pit bull. Dangerous dogs are any dogs that have a history of biting people or the potential to bite. The animal cruelty ordinance is a way to keep dogs safe from people who can't properly care for them. Changes have been made to both of these ordinances. So we changed it to make it very clear that once you surrender an animal here, it goes up for adoption. And we have occasionally let some animals be adopted back to their owners when their situations changed, but that animal has to be spayed and neutered and fully vaccinated and all that before it leaves here. Uh, that's one of our big changes. The other changes is uh, getting housing compliant. We've had a few instances of people not doing what they need to do and had animals in like 10 by 10 pens with three and four dogs and no, one, no human wants to live that way. So we made sure in the ordinance it shows that they need to have at least 10 by 10 per dog. They need to have adequate housing. And then when tethering those animals, they need to have their own individual tethers. The newest ordinance is the Pooper Scooper Ordinance, urging dog owners to be more responsible. This gives a penalty. Well, the first time is a written offense, like you just tell you, a written warning. If a dog, a person, it's not the dog's fault, if a person continues to let their dog poop in someone else's property or public property without picking it up, they can be fined and the first offense is $75. Animal Control will be patrolling the city to make sure people are abiding by the rules. In Cleveland, Mara Scott, The Delta News.